Hello, welcome. Just in this quick video here, we're going to go through using a smart board with your connected Mac um, and just a few settings just to make sure those fine details so it's all working across the whole system. So all I should be able to do is to have touch and use it like a normal touch screen. And then when I pick up the pen and annotate anywhere, I've got those annotations. And then at the same time, I've got that movement and I've got that movement as well there. So let's just get rid of that for now. I'm going to go into my Apple at the top here and going to system, system set settings. So within sitting system settings in here, I'm going to scroll down to all the way down in here to privacy and security. And within there, I've got a few options from in here. There's three boxes that I need to go through. One of them is files and folders. One of them is full disk access. And the other one is input monitoring. And then within all three of those, I need to add smart notebook, smart ink, and smart service, smart board service. Once I've got those three and they're all ticked, then it will all work perfectly as it is now. So to do those, I'm going to click add and just do my password I'm in here. And you can see in my applications itself, there's smart technologies. And then within here, you're going to find those three options there. So smart notebook, I can click on that, add that. Smart ink, I can add that. Now for my computer, it might be different to yours. If yours shows up straight away, great. For smart board service, mine didn't appear here. So what I had to do is to find that one in the menu itself. So I'm just going to cancel that and just show you, if it doesn't show up in that menu, where to find it from. So for that, I'm going to go into my Finder. Uh, and then within the Finder, I'm going to go to Applications. Just move that over there. And then within the Applications, yeah, there's my Smart Technologies, Smart Settings. Now I'm going to try hold down the Control button, which is a right click. And then click on Show Package Contents, Contents, Mac OS. And then within here, you will find smart board service. From there, I can drag and drop that over there. You see it's blue selected. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to leave it there because it's already in there. And that's how to add those three things. And if you can't find it, find it in the finder and drag and drop it into there. Once you have got those connected, then restart the computer. Make sure that's all working itself as well. I have gone through here through the smart settings as well. Smart settings, I've made sure any connection wizard has gone through as well. So when mine loads, through to the connection wizard. So I've got a green tick on that one to make sure it's properly connected. That will The blue symbol up there for the smart will be blue. If it's not connected properly, there's going to be a red cross in that itself there. And then I've connected that one itself there. That's one of the newer um, M1 chips for the Mac there. So it's going to work for other ones as well. That is on the latest software for this, and I've got the cables coming out of it. One of them is my HDMI going straight to USB-C into the back of here, and the other one is the USB, um, the square, the USB-B one coming out, going into here, and then I've got a Apple dong dongle going straight into the board, um, straight into the Mac itself there for doing that. Hopefully that is a way of connecting it and that will get you up and running. So then you can use that points of touch and you can use that whole experience from teaching from a Mac onto your smart board. Thanks very much.